Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. I want to welcome all of you guys from New Tech and of course all of you here on YouTube for your guys' continued support. We start things off from Rolling Stone. Five decades later, John Fogarty finally gains ownership of CCR Catalog. Fogarty struck a deal with Concord to make a majority stake in CCR's publishing catalog, giving him ownership over his songs after decades of failing attempts. One of the most infamous and tragic copyright struggles in the history of the music industry has finally been resolved as John Fogarty has gained the publishing rights to his Credence Clearwater Revival songs, purchasing a majority stake in the catalog from Concord. As of January, I own my own songs again. This is something I thought would never be a possibility, Fogarty said in a statement. After 50 years, I am finally reunited with my songs. I also have a say in where and how my songs are used. Up until this year, that is something I have never been able to do. I am looking forward to touring and celebrating this year. I want to th I want to thank Concord for helping to make all this happen and I'm excited for new ideas and renewed interest in my music like a revival. Wink, wink. Like the play on words. Ladies and gentlemen, if you did not know, here on the Buzzweaver channel, we take the difficult, we take the complicated, we take the tumult, we take the confusion. But we also, or I also, like to bring you guys things of interest, personal interest of mine. And CCR is one of these. I love CCR. Great band wonderful music and Fogarty is probably in my top 10 favorite vocalist or artist singers and this ridiculous absurd craziness now you may be asking yourself what, what do I mean by all this what, what what am I driving at well from the music networks when John Fogarty was sued for sounding too much like John Fogarty that's right Today, let's explore what, what, what has to be the most fundamentally ridiculous lawsuit ever launched in music history. In 1985, John Fogarty signed to Warner Brothers and released the album Center Field, which featured two top singles. The second of these, The Old Man Down the Road, was classic Fogarty with the grizzly Bayou sound. Unfortunately, the boss of Fantasy Records, Saul Zantz, thought it was a little too classic Fogarty claiming the song was a direct rip of the Credence Clearwater Revival song, Run Through the Jungle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I find this fascinating because this is kind of those little stories I share with people just in general conversation and holiday times and, and those sorts of things with some of my relatives and so forth, cousins. And it's really interesting that now, after 50 years, Fogarty is now able to own some of his own music, or most of his music, however they says in the article. And I find this fascinating just in general because in today's day and age of identitarianism uh, as well as intersectionality, identifying all of these sorts of personality traits that individuals have that are immutable, your skin color, your ethnicity, these sorts of things are immutable. And, you, and so you have aspects of a human being, qualities of human beings, and yet here's Fogarty being sued for essentially being who he is. John Fogarty, and I always found that fascinating and kind of puzzling all these years later, and in today, living in an age where identity is, well, obviously supreme, but basically also derived from groups of individuals who hijacked our culture to then force levels of identitarianism and intersectionality onto our society, and so it kind of plays Alongside this, now I'm not trying to necessarily incorporate the political aspects to music, my interest in music, with this. However, I do find an interesting parallel between the fact that though we talk about these sorts of issues, but also lawfare. Now, as you guys know, I worked in law for quite a few years, and I'm also a huge music fan. I'm an entertainment fan, which is also another reason why I thought about uh, going with the channel in an entertainment direction versus a political one because I had kind of retired from politics. But I wanted to share this particular story with you because I just find it fascinating 
that this was an ongoing lawsuit all under the auspice that John Fogarty was sued for sounding too much like himself. In a day and age of identity politics today that we live in, that this would have happened 50 years ago. Now, the music industry is a very strange thing. Lots of interesting stories come out of the music industry and how management and record owners, record labels, managers, attorneys, all suing and working, of course, to earn as much as they possibly can, sometimes at the expense of the artist, who, in many cases, they just want to play their music. They just want to go somewhere, entertain people, share their thoughts, their love, their passions of music with people, and then in the background, the record labels, the attorneys, and all these sorts of things grind in the background, leaving a lot of these artists discouraged, irritated, frustrated, and annoyed, and, and it impacts their it impacts their work. And I can totally understand that, even as a YouTube creator. I want to be able to create stories, give you current events, breaking news, but then I'm often having to wait 12 hours, 20 hours, 48 hours, 80 hours for YouTube to basically allow the, the video to have ads on it, which is the small, tiny aspect of what we earn as creators. Now, you guys have always supported the channel with your likes, your shares, and your comments, which I always appreciate. So that's always helpful. And I rarely, on occasion, may mention how you can help the channel financially by using my links, which are often published below, particularly those of my Amazon, which is the less intrusive way to help the channel. But to really help out the channel, of course, your likes, your shares, and your comments have always been very vital to that. Now, I don't want to completely bury the lead here as we talk about John Fogarty. But if you guys haven't ever heard of CCR, Credence Clearwater Revival, by all means, listen to this. Because Fogarty is definitely up there, top 10, top 5 of my favorite male vocalist. And I think you would really appreciate his music. And I'm, I'm sure many of you who have heard him really understand the seriousness and joy that uh, I have for John Fogarty winning this particular legal battle. And that's what I have for you guys this Friday. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, where you can see my daily post, as well as the Amazon link. If you guys are Prime members or order frequently from Amazon, you guys can use that link, go to the landing page, and search for what you're looking for. And, of course, it helps out the channel here in 2022. Thank you for the likes, the shares. For those on New Tech, as well as here on YouTube, and appearing right there on the screen for all of you watching on YouTube, that would be the channel icon. You can click on that to subscribe, as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys right there behind that camera next week.